Well, good morning, my Virgos. 3 a.m. on Thanksgiving. We're doing your reading. Happy Thanksgiving, guys, to everybody celebrating. I hope you have a great day with, you know, family and friends. And for those who aren't celebrating, um, I really take some time and just enjoy your own energy, you know, put some movies on and, you know, and uh, anyway. Okay, Virgo, that was it. <laughs> I was ready to go down an avenue. I'm like, no, I better not. All right. All right, Virgo, Summer and Rising Venus. If you are a Virgo, know a Virgo, feel like being a Virgo. Well, Virgo, as always, I am so glad you guys are here. What is the current energy for the Virgoians? Is that a word? It is today. It is this morning. <clears throat> What's the general energy for Virgo? What's the collective messages that need to come out? You know what's I forgot to mention, I noticed when I was shuffling, when I shuffle meditate, I close my eyes and the card that lands at the bottom of the deck is what it is. This was a nine of swords reverse, that's a nine of cups reverse. And yes, maybe some of you are finally getting free from an energy, you know, like um, a player energy or someone who did you wrong. It may not even be within a lover, but somebody who never shows up for you. And it's, it's maybe you're finally breaking free from that cut and that bond. All right, general energy for the Vir Virgos general energy from the Virgos. Ace of Pentacles reverse. What hasn't been working? It could be a delay too. That's your card and it's been reversed. Maybe it's been reversed for a long time and Virgo's like, we need to change that shit. What's influencing the Ace of Pentacles reverse? What's, what's influencing the Ace of Pentacles reverse for Virgo? What's influencing it? The Eight of Cups walking away and I love that. This is Look how she dumps the cup and walks away. I like to think that house is even on fire. You know, like in those action movies, I always think of Denzel Washington in Equalizer, which is like my favorite movie. Um, yeah, it's like setting something on fire and slowly and proudly and casually walking away and not going back of what's not working. This is a Virgo saying, I am done trying to make things work with you. I'm done trying to get things off the ground. I'm, try I'm tired of having to be the one to put all the work in. I'm walking away, Pisces energy. What's the reason for the reading, Virgo? What's the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, you cutie pies? What is it? The Nine of Wands. I I think this is about you. The Nine of Wands is don't give up, you're almost there card. I don't think it's about this Ace of Pentacles reverse. If it's about the Ace of Pentacles reverse, this is what you've been delaying. Because like I said, it could also be a delay. And Eight of Cups is... Traditionally, is she walking away? Maybe you're walking away from a foundation that has been needing to let go for some time and walking towards this Ace of Pentacles upright. You could have been lost inside this house within yourself. It could be even like, um, it, it could be a metaphor for being caged within yourself. And you're walking away from that cage, walking away from those chains and going towards what you need to do. Reason why is because Sagittarius energy, Nine of Wands. It's like, maybe I took some time off, but I didn't give up on my dreams. I didn't give up who, for, maybe a lot of people gave up on me, but I never gave up on myself. Okay, and <clears throat> it just popped in my head. Reason for the reading, we'll see when other cards come out. You walking away could spur somebody to be in this energy too. Saying, I'm not giving up my Virgo. Let's see what happens. What's in the past? What's in the past for Virgo? What's in the past? The Knight of Swords, clarity, fast action, movement. I got to do this now. It's now or never. I wasted so much time. It could be now or never getting out of this, this environment. And this person's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh, -uh. I, want her, I want that Virgo back. Yeah, Knight of Swords is clarity scene. But I feel, I just, I can't stop feeling no matter what storyline it is, there's a Virgo saying, I wasted too much time. What's on your mind? What is on Virgo's mind? What is on Virgo's mind? The Ace of Wands, two Aces, Ace of Wands reverse. I honestly, I'm getting a second energy on this Nine of Wands. If it's just you, Virgo, it's that first storyline. And some of you, it's gonna be both. Leaving a crappy relationship or a long-term marriage, I don't wanna say crappy, that shouldn't, some, cause there are definitely crappy situationships out there, like that Knight of Cups reverse that you've been taking advantage of. But it could have been a long-term marriage. It could be living in an environment that is no longer something you need to be in. And Ace of Wands reverse saying, there's no more passion here. 
there's no more passion whoever this is or whatever this is for you i can't do it one single day or minute i can't wake up and do this i can't go there it's like a Virgo who's who's on their way to work and decide it just takes a U-turn and keeps going. You know, where you almost panic, like I can't do this. But the, because there's so much time wasted is what I'm feeling with this Ace of Pentacles reverse. And this, but this is not, I don't, if this is your energy, like I said, this is not giving up to whatever this delay was and saying, okay, I need to stop doing whatever has bringing me so much uneasiness or unhappiness. And I need to start doing something different. And, I, and you're walking away from that. Okay, what's in the near future? What's in the near future for Virgo? What's in the near future? What is in the near future? The awakening. Oh, oh my gosh, I got tears in my eyes. You're awakening. There's something in you, Virgo. Whatever this Ace of Pentacles reverses that you've been holding within you and you've been waiting to, to use it or waiting to do it, waiting to travel, waiting to go there, you've just been waiting. You've been waiting. You, you've been doing everybody else, not literally doing everyone else. I mean, if that's your profession, that's your profession maybe for one person out there. But seriously, this is awakening within yourself, your soul. It's like, it's the judgment card. It's once you see something for what it is, once you, you can't go back. I think once you see something and you awaken, this house automatically locks, it disappears. It's not a shelter you can go back to. And it's not probably something you honestly want to go back to. You would want to anyway. So I think that's why it's, you, you've grown, you've grown. And then I mean, when I, just to clarify, some of the Virgos, this is about not necessarily a relationship. Your relationship might be fine, but it's the way your family deals with you. It's a way being the black sheep or talked down to or taken advantage of or misunderstood or always having to be the one to say, I'm sorry for even if you're doing right. And it's just, you know, it's like when energies are like this, it makes it hard for us to trust our own instincts. It makes it hard for us to say, you know, uh, to use those eight of wands because behind him it's eight of wands and he's holding, what is he holding? The ace of wands. And the eight of wands is our energy to move forward. It's our confidence in ourself to go confidently in our dreams, pushing forward, right? But your ace of wands is reverse. Why is your ace of wands reverse? I don't know what this is. It, it's probably very, very past, but energetically, because with the knight of swords, you're holding on to it. It's whatever this is that is decrepit and needs to fall down. And I feel like it could be built around a family situation. Some of you could be work, definitely work. It could be within your marriage, but it could also be within your family. Like I said, your marriage or relationship, even or if you're single, it's fine, but it's the way people have treated you. That's what's got to change. Because however people have treated you, you have been, these eight of wands have been on reserve behind him. That is, doesn't it almost look like the nine of wands is don't give up. But if you look at it that way, he's protecting his energy. He's not moving forward. He's just protecting like one day, one day the Ace of Pentacles reverse will be mine. It is yours. It's any day. And the awakening saying, you know what? It's time to get off the ground. People have knocked you down. And yet this Virgo keeps standing shakily bruised beaten, sometimes bloody, but there's, but they always get on their feet. And this time you've earned your wings with every lesson, with every time you stood up and you've gotten stronger and stronger. Now it's time to fly away. Use those wings and fly from this and, and take this new beginning. All right, Virgo, let's clarify. Let's clarify. What is this Ace of Pentacles reverse in the Eight of Cups for Virgo? Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles gosh these cards come on what is this ace of pentacles reverse in the eight of cups for virgo ace of pentacles okay one more sorry one more one more i gotcha ace of pentacles reverse in the eight of cups for virgo what is that card yeah justice reverse i think you've been getting screwed over for a very long time maybe your entire life injustice you're walking away from being screwed over. You're walking away from always having to understand why somebody is taking advantage of you. It's This is a Virgo who has to hold the door while somebody robs your house and saying, okay, come again, because if you didn't, you know, you'd be judged. Justice reverse is just being, getting the short end of the stick. And because of this happening, this Ace of Pentacles reverse in your life isn't happening. 
and you're just no longer going to 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 be that person for other people to step on as they get to their dreams you're not a stepping stone for other people you are now creating a stepping stone into your own life i'm not saying you're walking on people but you're no longer going to be stepped on and then apologize for it okay i'm saying i'm sorry you know it i'm sorry if your foot got hurt as you stepped on my back okay what is this nine of wands reason for the reading what is this nine of wands reason for the reading what is it and the nine of pentacles it's your card these eight of wands behind you virgo that you've been protecting that's your gold mind if you're watching this wanting how oh, stacy am i gonna get a lot of money well you know the answer because you're hiding it within you can't be afraid to let those arrows go you can't be afraid because whatever this is is a lot of stability it's also self-worth it's 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 assurance that i am enough it's assurance to say you know what the voice i hear now in my head is the only voice i need to be hearing it's tuning out the other voices so you can get really clear knight of swords on what you need to do and it reminds me of like wish fulfillment like the star card it's like clear on what this is in her hand you have the power all along dorothy you just gotta you just gotta utilize that energy you, you gotta let it go and not worry about what people think what is the knight of swords in the past what's the knight of swords in the past for virgo what's the knight of swords in the past and six of swords clarity and moving on Gemini and Aquarius energy. This is Gemini ener Gemini and energy, Gemini energy. Knight of Swords is clarity on what, where you need to go, what you need to do, maybe who you need to do, but it's really clear and saying, okay, I can't waste one more day. And then instant growth, we go from a Knight of, knight of um, Swords into a King of Swords by moving on. There's growth in moving on. It's easy to stay in crappy situations because we normalize everything. And then it's amazing the amount of shit that we really, can, as humans, normalize and take rather than change. And this is where I go saying, no, 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 I can't do this anymore. I have to get on this boat and see where it goes. It's kind of like Columbus. And I know there's a whole thing is, did Columbus, you know, well, he was an explorer, maybe even a bad explorer, but he was. But it's getting on the boat and not knowing where you're going to end up. And keep an open mind. That's the thing. Maybe that's funny I said Columbus. Because it's like keep an open mind. Because he thought he was going to India and he ended here and he didn't even know where he was. Keep an open mind. If you if you pick this destination, you truly might end up somewhere else where you really, really belong. And that's where your home is. That's where your home is. Okay, what is this Ace of Wands reverse for Virgo on their mind? What's this Ace of Wands reverse for Virgo on their mind? What is it? Yeah, seven of swords ace of wands reverse is lacking the passion lacking the drive you know what's funny is i was gonna say the energy and it's like an energy vampire somebody getting away with something and stealing and then manipulating and gaslighting you this feels like because it's swords this feels really really mindful um guys i have bad language this morning but there's no better word to say and you've been mind fucked by one or multiple people in your life. And because of that, it's like stealing your joy and your passion. This is a lack of motivation to do whatever this Ace of Pentacles reverse is. And it's because you've, I wanna say you've allowed it because if you get that King of Swords energy and you treat people the way they treat you, they'll stop it immediately. They only treat people like that because they can. And I heard, I somebody said this to me a long time ago and it sticks in my head. You have to, when you get energies like that, you have to treat them the way they treat you. That's the only language they know. That's the only language they know. It's like repellent. Okay, what is the awakening in the near future? What is this awakening card in the near future? It's judgment card. What is this for Virgo? Awakening. It's like you're awakening in your own life. You're gonna be, look at that wheel of fortune upright. There, I usually pick the judgment the wheel of fortune and the world and if i pick them they're all upright or they're all reversed but look at that two major ass akanas. this is this is out of your hands i think this is a virgo that has was supposed to spend x amount of life of your life dealing with this so you can grow like i said you're going from a knight to a king by taking that first step out of there 
And it, you know, I feel like if, if the imagery is like the first step out of there is walking, walking, and then you're running before you know it. You're, you're literally getting more and more and more distance as you grow and saying, I like this feeling of independence. I like this feeling of being empowered. And what you're doing is what you don't realize is this is empress mode. You're, you're literally becoming an empress and an empress is all four queens and an emperor. And that's all four kings. And those people are only at that status because they learned a lot of life lessons. And what those life lessons are is stop letting people do this to you. They only take because you have something valuable to give. That's it. If, if you didn't have shit, they wouldn't take anything from you. You know, do you, they just wouldn't. And it, I'm not saying physical guys. It's not just physical because it is sorts. This is a Virgo who, who has a pure heart, a loyal, um, you have energy to give, to heal people, to make them feel better. You might even have like, you know, you just, they want to be around you, but they're taking your energy. Problem is, is they take your energy and you have nothing left over for you and to do what you need to do. But on this line, we have injustice. And then we have you moving on, closing the door to how you've been treated and then moving towards wake. You know, this is about focusing on yourself and what, what these eight of wands that you've been protecting, it means to you. And it's going to lead to this. The Nine of Pentacles is the minor arcana card of the Empress card. And the Empress, Empress is full of confidence. And the Nine of, I mean, it's just, you're on your way. It, it even looks like stepping stones, like behind her. You are building the stepping stones to your own future. Maybe on the backs of narcissists. And that's okay, you know. What is the awakening in the Wheel of Fortune here? It's, it's a change of luck, though. It really is a change of luck for the better. That's what I'm feeling on this. What is the awakening in the wheel of fortune? What is the awakening and the wheel of fortune and the page of cups? Hope newness. You're on a new journey. You're on a new path. It's, it's, it's allowing something good to happen to you, you know, and the page of cups is hope. It's, it's, it's childlike energy. And I, you know, that's awesome because everybody watching tarot have, has been a child. Sorry, I'm messing with my microphone. I hope that wasn't loud on accident. Everybody in life's been a child. That I do know for a fact, right? Unless you're an alien. And when you're a child, anything is possible. Do you remember that energy, guys? You watch a cartoon and you feel like you can just get into cartoon land and, and with those vibrant colors or a show where everything's all perfect and you can really put yourself there. As kids, we manifest very well. We just don't know that's what we're doing. Page of Cups is tap back into that childness, that childlike energy, and allow the hope back into your life. Because Virgo, whatever you put your thoughts to, it's going to happen. See, the Wheel of Fortune isn't a, isn't a, when you get the card, it's not saying, okay, great things are happening to me. Typically, if you really look at the definition, it's, it's a change. It just means a change. So it says, if let's just say life is going grand and you, you're, you're a billionaire and everything's going well. If a wheel of fortune comes in, that might mean you might have some challenges. It, it just means a change in, changes in the wind. In this reading, this is, this is the opposite. Whatever you've been in, things are going to change rapidly in 180 degrees. And I feel like you've been having the short end of the injustice stick here. You have been getting energy stolen from you. You've been taken advantage of. You've been held down. And this is a change of, he's literally getting back up. People thought you probably had nothing left to give and this person is still getting back up. Strong ass character. And you never, I feel like you never left this. Whatever this is, it's hope. And it's a, it's a dream. It's a seed of, it still can get better. And it will because you believe. Give me another card on that. The Awakening, Page of Cups, and Wheel of Fortune for Virgo. Awakening, Wheel, Wheel of Fortune, and um, I would say and Virgo. <laughs> Page of Cups. And Two of Cups. I was going to say some of you, it's new love. And then I pull this. Look at that. Why believing in yourself in that one cup? Look what comes in. Two of Cups. Your soulmate is at the other end of this wheel, Virgo. Go spin that wheel. I really, I'm, I, if it pops in my head, I have to say it. And I have to say it again. Magician reverse at the bottom of the deck and King of Swords. Yep. And the Hierophant reverse and the Three of Swords. You got to let this shit go. When the Magician comes out, even if it's reverse, it's a Virgo Gemini card. We have Gemini over here, right? It's, it's just, it's, this is a lot. This is having faith in yourself. 
This is not having faith in yourself. You don't have faith in yourself because you've been dealing with people like this, manipulators, gaslighters, thieves in the night, you know, people who keep stepping on you. Have faith in yourself. He has every new beginning on his table. If you guys ever look at that, he's got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands, but he's not grabbing them. He's still in Knight of Swords mode. He's still in thinking mode. He's in this Page of Swords mode or Ace of Swords mode, you know? He's just like, I know I can do it when I grab it. That's why your Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands, both of them are reversed. They're just laying on this table and you're looking straight ahead. If you would just look down, what would you see? Maybe that's why it's reversed, Virgo. It came out reversed. Look down, grab it, and go. I think when you grab it, you're going to like feeling empowered. You're going to like standing your ground. You're going to like putting yourself out there. Because if you, if this is about being in a job for a long time and, and trying to be happy with it and saying, well, there's a manager managerial job that comes up. I think I could, I could do better than them, but oh, what are, what are my coworkers going to think? Go for it. Go for it. Because once it, you start rolling, it's, then it's, it's, I would say it's all downhill. You're going to pick up speed and that's your eight of wands right there. King of swords, maintain this energy. Aquarius again, this is setting strong boundaries. So the seven of swords can't come in, which is Aquarius too. Um, but it's, it's so the seven of swords and five of swords kind of characters won't come in that cause disruption in your life and a three of swords. You know, it's ironic that I pulled these two cards Virgo. Do you mind? It's already 21 minutes. Okay, we're friends now. You're like, Stacy, but it's so early. I have other readings to do. Hurry it, hurry your ass up. Okay, let me just say this. Look at the, I pulled the three of swords underneath was the empress. Like I said, the empress is all four queens, okay? From learning type tough lessons. See those swords? I think you are so strong that you've been pulling these swords out or you're on your way of pulling these swords out. Yeah, you'll have scars. You'll never forget what people did to you, but it's, your hope is still there. Look at that page of cups. Your hope is still there. The reason why I say that is, do you guys ever notice the heart the Empress is protecting down here? Let me see if I could turn this off if you'd see it better. Uh, that's not, it's too dark in here. Okay, never. Sorry, Virgo. Uh, look at, if you have tarot cards or look online, see the heart she sits on. There's no swords in it. By taking this journey, you are pulling the swords out. You're a, you're a freaking Empress. You're all four Queens. You're not going to chase shit anymore. It, this is this is a major manifestor mode. She pulls energies to her by that self-confidence, by having that nine of pentacles. Like I said, the minor and major arcana of the same card. By having this, this security within yourself and this, this self-esteem, you're in empress mode. You go to a job, just know you're going to get it. Because if you know you're going to get it, the, self, the confidence in you is really going to come out. And they're going to be like, I don't know who this person is, but... but I mean, they, they talk like they really know what they're saying. I mean, that's how people with less experience get jobs because they have that confidence. Just know, just speak with that confidence with, with just know it. I, I don't know how else to say it. That's, that's where I feel like this wheel of fortune and judgment is. You are awakened to how you've been treated. You're also awakened to what you really want with this Ace of Pentacles reverses. You're awakened to what you've been hiding away, the Eight of Wands. You're saying there's... I still have hope that there's something better out there, right? And all of a sudden the wheel of fortune happens and changes the wheel. When it changes the wheel, it takes this magician and changes that. Now we're empowered and this is really Empress. I feel like they're, they're very similar energies in Empress mode. Now you're connected to your higher self. This is all about being connected, right? But it's also because you're magnetic, don't be surprised that this comes in. You will attract like energies. You're not going to attract a seven of swords anymore. I mean, yeah, they will still want what you have, but you it's like a force field around you. They, these people will bounce right off. What you're going to attract is like energies of this. That's how you bring your soulmate in. Oh, wow. Look at the bottom of the deck. Holy shit. The King of Cups and the Temperance. When I say soulmate, look at that King of Cups right here. Ooh, Virgo. I like that. Okay. All right, Virgos, that is what I have for you. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving today. Enjoy the day, either alone or surrounded by a bunch of nut nuts in the house. Um, yeah, enjoy your day today. I'll see you next week, guys. Take care.